Gambia is honored and feels a great sense of pride to host the 28th ordinary session of the Council of Ministers of Africa Rights Center, the premier center for excellence for rights research and development on the African continent. I therefore, therefore on behalf of the 24 member countries, seize this opportunity to congratulate and thank Africa Rise for demonstrating true leadership of the African rights sector. I would like to reiterate here what I have previously uh, conveyed to Africa Rise Director General Dr. Papa in 2009 when he called on me at State House that no other agricultural research institution has benefited the Gambia and Africa as much as Africa Rise. Before I wish the Council success in its deliberations, I would like to make a surprise announcement. I would like to offer a special President Yaya Jami Agricultural Prize by annually at each Council of, uh, Council of Ministers session to the person joined to be the best rice, uh, rice producer in any one of the Africa Rice member states. It is an enormous personal pleasure and privilege for me to participate in this opening of the 28th Ordinary Session of the Council of Ministers of the Africa Rice Center. As Africa Rice Board Chair, I am very pleased to report to you today that for the past five years, the Center's performance has been nothing short of remarkable. As evidence, we can cite the Center's geographic expansion to North, East, Central, and Southern Africa, now covering the entire continent and making it a truly pan-African organization. Africa Rice has also demonstrated strong and forward-looking advocacy with political leaders and donors, most notably in the years just before and then during the spike in world food prices in 2008. And the center has demonstrated an outstanding record of accountability and solid risk management. Since 2006, under the strong leadership of Dr. Papa Abdullahi Seck and his devoted team, Africa Rice has been recognized worldwide as a center of excellence in rice research and development. I would like to encourage the DG and his team to maintain its admirable standards of excellence and its determined focus on real impact. I would like to seize this opportunity to thank wholeheartedly the member states who continue to value our common association <coughs> and who demonstrate their ownership by paying their contributions to the center. Indeed, I would like to thank all of Africa Rice's current donors for their consistent and growing support. On behalf of the Africa Rice Board of Trustees, I wish to express once again our deepest gratitude for the confidence and the support demonstrated by this impressive list of investors. Finally, I very much look forward to following closely the important discussions the next two days and wish you full success in your deliberations. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very sincerely. Deuxième exposé, c'est est-ce que la riziculture africaine se porte mieux depuis la crise de 2008? Ou est-ce que depuis la crise de 2008, les choses se sont empirées? Nous répondons en ce qui nous concerne, par l'affirmative. Cela veut dire que pour nous, la riziculture africaine se porte mieux depuis la crise de 2008. Mais il y a encore des choses à faire. Il y a un certain nombre d'éléments qui peuvent servir de repère. Premier élément, la production riscole africaine a significativement augmenté depuis la dernière crise. Nous sommes passés de 20,4 millions de tonnes à 24,7 millions de tonnes entre 2007 et 2010. 
ce qui est remarquable. En plus de ça, au moins 17 pays ont enregistré des taux de croissance à deux ou à trois chiffres. Gambie, 163%. Burkina Faso, 76%. Sénégal, 61%. Éthiopie, 49%. Et en ce qui concerne les Nerica dont on parle tant, les superficies emblavées sont passées de 200 000 hectares à 700 000 hectares entre 2006 et 2010. Et comme disait l'autre, souvent quand on interpelle les chercheurs, ils disent « oui, nous avons notre part de responsabilité, mais les problèmes de l'agriculture, c'est peut-être 30% dans les champs, 70% en dehors des champs. » C'est pourquoi le dialogue avec les décideurs politiques est fondamental pour que nous puissions agréger véritablement nos contributions pour que l'Afrique soit debout en ce qui concerne le riz et aille de l'avant. Je vous remercie de votre aimable attention. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. It's a real pleasure to me for me to present uh, a near final version for your approval uh, of the 2011-2020 strategic plan. How do we expect to implement this strategic plan? As we said yesterday, mostly under the umbrella of the Global Rice Science Partnership. An estimated 90% of these activities will be done under the umbrella of the Global Rice Science Partnership, and Africa Rice is leading the work in Africa. It doesn't mean Africa Rice is going to do everything alone. No, far from that. The national systems are 100% partner in this Global Rice Science Partnership. IRI will have its role to play, SIAT, other centers, universities as well. A snapshot still of this Global Rice Science Partnership. It's an evolving alliance. It's not a close partnership involving a few key architects, but many, many different research and development partners worldwide. With that, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chairman, I thank you very much.